What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I got another trip to the thrift for you guys. I haven't done one of these in a few days and to be honest I'm still hitting these thrift stores but I'm really just trying to get through this huge death pile that I've accumulated over these past couple of weeks. I've been putting out a ton of trip to the thrifts and I've been going to a lot of garage sales and flea markets lately just because it's summertime now and a ton of garage sales are available. I've just been like gathering a ton of stuff especially for fourth quarter and I'm really just trying to get through a lot of these stuff because to be honest people are still shopping like crazy i know we we keep talking about summer slowdown and how to prevent slow sales and stuff like that but the key to success is literally just to keep listing like you just got to keep putting out stuff even if you list 10 things a day the odds of you selling at least one to two items out of that 10 is is very very high especially if you're sourcing things that people are looking for such as sportswear, swimwear, and just like hard goods and stuff like that. Those are the things that's really selling really well for me. And that's really what's like preventing me from seeing a lot of these slower sales. And as you guys can see, I've been putting out like what sold over the weekend. And my weekend sales are still really strong. It almost comparable to like the few months ago when sales were booming for me. So just like I said before, keep sourcing, keep listing, and that's the biggest key to success for right now. But anyway, I'm gonna still go to one of my favorite thrift stores because I just like the thrill of the hunt and hopefully we can find some stuff to sell on eBay and on Poshmark and I'm mainly gonna be looking for more summer clothing so like short sleeves and just lighter fabrics brighter colors things that people are shopping for right now and hopefully they sell fast and without further ado let's get into it okay so of course as soon as I hit the thrift store the first section I check is the men's section and I came across this Woolrich like light windbreaker jacket this was pretty clean pretty dope in my opinion but the only thing that was wrong with this is the fact that it didn't have a size tag and anytime I see something that doesn't have a size tag, I usually pass on it because it's a harder sell. But since this is vintage, I might just hold on to it and um, I might just list it anyway and post it with measurements. Next, I came across this Peter Millar linen shirt. And this is the type of stuff I'm looking for right now. Linen, light fabrics, light colors, things that people are searching for, especially for their like vacation trips and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. Right next to that shirt was another like summery type of shirt. This is a Robert Graham, uh, I think it's like a gingham print and I'm probably gonna pick this one up as well. This is short sleeve and I usually don't sell short sleeve Robert Graham shirts, but uh, like I said, it's a summertime shirt. I checked the comps and they usually sell for about 25 bucks. So I'll still scoop this one up. And the good thing is this is in a size large and larger sizes usually do better for me. So I'll pick this one up. Next, I found a blazer from the brand John Varvatos. And this is a brand I pick up. I usually try to get the John Varvatos Star USA. But since this one was a blazer and I checked the size tag and it was made from hemp. So that's a more of a lighter fabric as well, like I was telling you guys earlier. So this is something that will definitely sell and it's in a size 54 so bigger sizes usually sell well for me especially when it comes to blazers and jackets so I'm going to be scooping this one up. Next was this Zara Man jacket and I sold a Zara Man jacket that was very similar to this maybe two weeks ago so I was I was considering grabbing this one because the one I had sold but this one was actually missing the hood so i know that would detract a lot of buyers so i decided to pass on this only because it was missing the hood and at the end of the day zara man isn't like a sought after brand anyway next is this eli cattleman western shirt and in the video it looks really nice it looks nice and dark and rich but in person this was really faded but this is just a nice shirt and I figured that I should show it to you guys because with the roses and the embroidery, western shirts are going to sell. But since this was so faded, I had to pass on that one. Now I'm going to run through the pants section and here I found a pair of Bonobos khakis. And Bonobos is, doesn't sell for as ton of profit as it used to. But like I said, right now, you know, khaki pants, stuff like that, people are going to be picking this stuff up. So I figured why not. So this was in a size, I think this was a straight fit. And this was a size 33, 32, so a pretty standard size. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And here is another pair of Bonobos pants. And these are actually a pair of wash chinos. And the wash chinos don't usually sell for more profit. But I think at around this time of the year, it might be a little more popular. So of course, I'm going to throw wash chinos in the keywords. And hopefully that helps it sell a lot faster. But it's also a straight fit. So we'll see how that does in terms of its overall profit value. And here we have another one in the same size. The difference with this one is that it's like a flannel lining in the pants. So this is probably for like colder weather. 
but I'll still scoop that one up too. Next, we got this Carhartt Relax Fit pair of cargo pants. And my experience with cargo, with Carhartt pants, especially the cargos, I always get at least 30 bucks, maybe 25 if it has some stains. And this one was in really good condition, so I'm definitely grabbing this pair as well. And next, I got this Adidas pair of track pants. And these are my style all day long. I was I was hoping this was like a size small because this was older and a medium back then was a lot longer, a lot bigger. But if this was my size, y'all already know I would have kept this for the, for the personal collection. But um, I didn't get a chance to put it on video. When I got to the register, I realized there was a huge hole in these on the other leg that I didn't look at. So I ended up passing on that one. Next is this Adidas Windbreaker. And this one was really nice, really clean. But um, my experience with these Adidas windbreakers, especially the ones that don't have a big logo, they don't sell for a ton of profit. And it was my size, but I have enough jackets, so I passed on that. And next, we got a Columbia fishing vest. And this was really nice, really clean, a size XL, so that's a good size. So I'm definitely going to scoop this one up because I'm pretty sure somebody would appreciate this, especially during this time of the year. So I checked one more spot before I went home and I came across this Prana shirt and I usually pick up Prana shirts because they sell pretty well for me but I have about two or three in my Poshmark closet now that just hasn't sold in like a month so I'm probably going to pass on this one but Prana is a good brand to be on the lookout for. Next is this uh, old streetwear brand. This is from Durkle. So drop a comment if you guys remember this brand, but I, I ended up passing on this one, but this was super clean. And if it was maybe half off, I would have picked it up. But just checking the comps on eBay, I was realizing that these did not sell regardless brand new or not. So I just passed on this. Next is this really unique piece from The Gap, and this is kind of like a jacket slash over shirt type of thing, but it had a United Arrows vibe to it, so I really did like it, and the best part is that it was actually in my size, so I'm probably going to hold on to this for a little while, and when I'm ready to sell it, I'll probably get maybe 25 or 30 bucks for it, but these type of stuff usually sell pretty well for me, especially on Poshmark. Next is another mall brand, and this is from J. Crew. And I don't sell a ton of J. Crew pieces, but I realize that J. Crew does sell for a decent amount of profit, depending on the style. And these pair of joggers are really dope. Definitely in time for summer, so I'll definitely be picking these up as well. And if it fits, I'll probably rock this for a couple times too. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today's video. So if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page because I'm going to be putting out some more content on there this week just to help you guys with your eBay and Poshmark business. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Interest rate is lower, ain't it? Beside the auction off a bid.